Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and we're on the second part of a video. And what we're doing here is I have a Hayward two horsepower pump for a pool. It's actually the motor, and we're putting new bearings in it. So we're gonna show you how to do that today. It's kind of ironic because these motors are really expensive. And if you're going to rebuild a motor, all they need is bearings. I mean, my, my motor is starting to whine. And was running really hot. So, I got the bearings, which I think might have been less than five bucks or so. And... Those are the old ones, so there's, there's only two bearings. We're going to put those in. So I'm just going to take the motor armature and drop it in my vise. Snug it up. And we'll put on the new bearing. There's a retainer clip here, so it can only go down that far. And it doesn't matter which way this goes on. Um, I'm going to sand the shaft just a hair, get a little bar there. And we're going to take a pipe, put it right on that inner race and continue pressing on the bearing. For the other side, it's the same process. We'll snug up the armature. I know my deep socket wouldn't reach on this side, so I need this pipe for this side. You just want to go in until you get to that snap ring. And we're bottomed out nicely. So the bearings are on the armature. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of grease right on this bottom bearing because there's a crush ring that you saw in the first video and that had a little bit of grease on it and it'll also help the bearing slide into the motor and end bell so we'll take this I already blew out the motor with compressed air it was pretty much filthy and we'll slip this in here and our bearing is now seated in the end bell on that side. The other side of the motor we're going to do the exact same thing. So a little bit of grease in here where the bearing is going to slip in. Now th this metal thing, this little dog here locks behind the bearing and it's made so that you can tighten it from the front and it'll pivot to there and lock in on the back side of that ball bearing so I'm just gonna look for my I have two alignment marks there and retainer out of the way center it up. That looks pretty good. Okay, so that's on the bearing nice. We'll line up on our alignment marks. The through bolts just go all the way through. I got this one right here started. So we'll do the opposite corner. And I also took the time to clean the threads on there. And this is where your alignment marks come in kind of handy. They're going to help you get these through bolts aligned properly. 
bottom one stuck. But I think that was the one that was stuck when I was trying to get it out of there. Okay, so we have two started. Just gonna snug these up in a crisscross pattern. Everything is uh, torqued down, snugged up, and I'm just taking the shaft here. You can see it spins nice and free. You wanna check that in case anything's binding. You wouldn't wanna start it up like that. This capacitor, which by the way is not charged, it's, it's been dead because I've had the motor off for several days. But anyhow, this is not the original motor capacitor. Um, I bought a new one because one day I came out and the pool pump was just humming and it wasn't spinning. So I took a screwdriver and while it was humming, I turned it and it started the motor. So the Basically, the armature wasn't able to start. The motor couldn't start, so it needed a new capacitor. The capacitor I got is the exact specifications. It's, uh, what is it, 35 microfarads at 370 volts. And I ordered a new one, but it's a little bit thinner, so it doesn't quite fit in here tight. So um, I have this little rubber spacer, and I'm going to use that to lock the capacitor in place. Most people I think just throw out motors when they hum like that and a lot of times it's just the capacitor. On this end of the motor there's a rubber o-ring or bushing locks in there against that seal Alright guys, you could hear how quiet that was. I'm really impressed with how nice that motor sounds. It's such an easy repair to just get bearings and put it in your motor instead of buying a like complete new pool pump. So I'll put some links to the products I used in this project down in the description. You can check that out. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys.